Our journey begins within, in the vast landscape of our inner world. This world is a complex network of thoughts, emotions, and deeply embedded patterns that dictate our reactions and shape our reality. Most people go through life unaware of the immense influence their inner world has on their outer experiences. We react to situations based on pre-programmed emotional responses, often without understanding why. Consider this, every thought you have is like a seed planted in the soil of your consciousness. These seeds grow into the habits and reactions that make up a large portion of who you are. But what if these seeds are mostly negative? They grow into weeds, choking your potential and clouding your true self. It's essential then to become intimately familiar with these inner workings. When we start paying attention to our thoughts and emotions, we embark on a journey of self-discovery. This process isn't about changing who you are. It's about uncovering the true self that lies beneath layers of conditioned responses. As we go deeper into understanding our inner world, we start to recognize patterns, the usual ways we think, feel, and react. This recognition is the first step towards profound transformation. By becoming aware of these patterns, we empower ourselves to change them. Awareness is like a beam of light shining through the darkness of our unconscious habits. It's easy to get caught up in automatic reactions, like feeling a surge of anger in a traffic jam. These reactions are comfortable, familiar, but they keep us chained to old patterns. Breaking free requires awareness. Becoming aware of your reactions is like observing yourself from a distance. You notice the emotion, feel its impact, but instead of reacting automatically, you pause. This pause is powerful. In that moment, you have the choice, the choice to continue with the old pattern or to create a new response. This is where transformation begins. Imagine you're in traffic, the usual irritation rises, but instead of succumbing to anger, you observe it. You acknowledge it, ah, there's anger. It's not me, it's just an emotion. This shift in perception changes everything. You are no longer the emotion, you are the observer of the emotion. This distinction is crucial for dismantling old patterns. Conscious confrontation of these reactions is not easy. It's a battle against years, perhaps decades, of habitual emotional responses. But each time you choose awareness over automatic reaction, you weaken the old patterns. This process is akin to reprogramming a computer. The old software, your habitual reactions, is being replaced by a new, more conscious program. It's a journey of becoming conscious of the unconscious, of choosing to stay awake rather than falling back into habitual sleep. And it's in this heightened state of awareness that real change occurs. Energy is the currency of consciousness. To maintain a heightened state of awareness, we need energy. And not just physical energy, but mental and emotional energy. This energy is what keeps us from falling back into our old unconscious patterns. It's the fuel for our transformation. So how do we raise our energy? It starts with intention. Intention is like setting a course for a ship. It gives direction to your energy. When you wake up in the morning, set an intention for the day. It could be as simple as, today, I choose to be present in every moment. This intention sets the tone for your day. Being present is not just about physical presence. It's about where you focus your energy. When you're fully present, your energy is not scattered across past regrets or future worries. It's focused on the here and now. And this focus is where you have the power to create change. Imagine your energy as a beam of light. Wherever you point this light, that area illuminates. If you point it towards the present moment, you illuminate your current experience, making it richer and more vivid. This is where you have the most power to affect change. Another way to raise your energy is through gratitude. Gratitude shifts your energy from what's lacking to what's abundant in your life. Start your day by listing three things you're grateful for. 
This practice shifts your mindset from scarcity to abundance, raising your overall energy. Remember, you can't maintain a high level of consciousness without energy, so nourish your body with healthy food, your mind with positive thoughts, and your spirit with uplifting experiences. This holistic approach to raising your energy is key to sustaining your transformation journey. Meditation is a cornerstone of this transformative journey. It's not just a practice of relaxation. It's a method of connecting deeply with your inner self. Meditation allows you to disconnect from the chaos of the external world and enter a state of profound inner peace and clarity. In meditation, we shift from beta to alpha brainwaves. Beta brainwaves are associated with our day-to-day -day waking consciousness, where our attention is on the outer world. When we meditate, we reduce sensory input, our brainwaves begin to slow down, and we enter the alpha state. In this state, our inner world becomes more vivid and real than the outer one. This shift is crucial for initiating deep, transformative changes. Consider meditation as a rehearsal for your new way of being. In this quiet space, you can imagine and rehearse how you wish to react to situations, how you want to feel, and who you want to be. This rehearsal is not mere daydreaming. It's a powerful tool for rewiring your brain. The brain doesn't distinguish between real and imagined experiences. By vividly imagining a new way of being, you're laying down the neural pathways that will make this imagined reality your new normal. The practice of meditation requires discipline. It's about creating a sacred space and time for yourself, free from distractions. It could be early in the morning or late at night, whichever works best for you. The key is consistency. Make meditation a non-negotiable part of your daily routine. During meditation, you might encounter resistance, thoughts of tasks you need to do, or physical discomfort. This resistance is natural. It's your old patterns trying to maintain their grip. Acknowledge these thoughts and feelings, but gently bring your focus back to your meditation. This discipline of returning to your practice, despite distractions, is what strengthens your new, conscious self. Meditation is not just a practice, it's a discipline. It requires you to confront and overcome the habitual programs of your body and mind. This discipline is akin to a warrior preparing for battle. The battleground is your own self, the habits, thoughts, and emotions that keep you chained to your past. When you decide to meditate, you're making a bold statement to your body. Today, we do battle. Today, I choose to be conscious. Your body might resist. It might tell you that it's uncomfortable, that it needs to move, that there are other things you should be doing. This resistance is the voice of your habitual self trying to maintain control. But here's where your discipline comes in. You sit through the discomfort, through the wandering thoughts, through the urges to give up. You tell your body, no, we stay, we meditate. This act of discipline is incredibly powerful. You're asserting your will over your automatic programming. It's a declaration that you are in control, not your habitual thoughts and emotions. As you practice this discipline, you'll notice something remarkable. You'll start your day with a sense of calm and centeredness. You'll find yourself being more patient, more compassionate, and more present with others. Why? Because you've mastered the present moment in your meditation. You've practiced being fully here, in the now, and that practice spills over into your daily life. Where you place your attention is where you place your energy. By focusing on the present moment, you gather a tremendous amount of energy. This energy is what you need to create remarkable changes in your life. When you're present, you're fully engaged in life, and this is where true transformation happens. Our heart center is a powerful source of transformation. When you focus on your heart, you start feeling love and happiness from within. This internal source of joy is more authentic and fulfilling than any external stimulus. By focusing on the heart, you not only change your emotional state, but also bring about physiological changes that enhance your well-being. Meditation is not complex or inaccessible. 
It's a simple practice of investing in yourself. By dedicating time to meditate, you're not only investing in your present, but also in your future. It's a commitment to believing in yourself and the endless possibilities that lie within you. In this journey, being part of a community that shares your aspirations can be incredibly empowering. Every stride you make contributes to this collective growth, making the process not only about personal transformation, but also about contributing to a larger change.